in this plumber block assembly today we are going to see how to make this casting for that we are first going to make this half part and we will mirror it to this side and will extend it so let's make it first open katia then go on start then mechanical design and then part design after that click on ok after that from these three planes you can select any plane whatever you want and then go on sketch option from here now let's make a profile as it is given in figure so you have to select this profile command and you have to make the sketch as it is given in figure so let's make it i am making it step by step you can also make it it will take some time but you have to do it very carefully and now you have to use this three arc command to make one half circle now we have completed our sketch so let's give dimensions to it uh, i made this by mistakely so i am selecting it and using this constraint box and then using here horizontal and clicking on okay after that let's give dimensions according to this figure so you can see all dimensions are here and i am going to uh, give dimensions now using this constraint option now distance between this external point with this axis is given as 208 divided by 2 208 divided by 2 i am using divided by 2 because i am making half sketch as i told you distance between this internal line with this central axis is given as 195 divided by 2 after that distance between this horizontal line with this slant uh, sorry i have deleted that now distance between this slant line with this horizontal line is given as 106 this is the angle that is given to us now distance between this external line with this surface is given as 14 and now uh, radius of the circle is given as uh, 24 now distance between this line with this internal axis is given as 50, 56 divided by 2 after that distance between this external with this axis is given as 54 I will show you it in figure and then distance between this external uh, external line with the bottom external line it is given as 68 so 68 and distance between this line with this line is given as 16 so make here 16 after that this or uh, this vertical line distance is given as 4 so make it 4 and now one step one thing is remaining we have to make here tangency with this circle with this line so select both of them by using control option then go on construction constraint box then use your tangency option and after that we have to again make one thing you select the center of the circle and select the axis by using control option and then again go on constraint box and use this coincide option then click on ok now um, what is remaining uh, let's see huh. now distance between uh, again use this constraint option distance between this line with this line is given as 2 now our whole sketch is in green color so let's select whole sketch and select remaining part by using control button and then use this mirror command and then mirror uh, mirror it now our whole sketch is in green color then after that go on exit to workbench and now use this pad command from here and let's see how much the thickness is given the thickness is given of 46 so let's uh, you can see uh, uh, no i will show you in in figure so here is 46 i am using 46 divided by 2 
and using this mirror extend so i will get 23 mm to this side and 23 mm to this side and total length of 46 46 then after that i have clicked on ok now we have to make one uh, you can see elongated hole here we have to make it so i am select i have selected this surface then go on the uh, sketch option after that you have to make one elongated uh, part on that surface elongated hole then make it from the center now let's give dimensions to it now first dimension is given here that is its radius the radius is given at 6 and after that let's give using this constraint option distance between this central axis with the internal part of the elongated hole which is given as uh, seven, uh, 154 divided by 2 I will show you in figure the distance is given as 154 divided by 2 now similarly again distance between this two line is given as 8 now we have to select uh, we have to select this elongated hole and we will use mirror x mirror option for it to mirror it uh, i have selected mirror option with this plane and we have created our elongated hole to both sides after that go on exit to workbench and then use this pocket command from here then from here select up to last and then go on ok this is how we have created this after that we have to make two squares on this and this so select any of them and then go on sketch option from here after that make one square from the center so i i have made this and now use this constraint option dimension is given as 28 by 28 28 by 28 here now distance between this center to the center of this uh, center of this uh, square is given as 78 divided by 2 it is 78 divided by 2 i will show you in figure and let's see it you can see distance between this to this center is given as 70 of 8 divided by 2 similarly now select four sides of the square and we will use mirror command and using this mirror command after that go on exit to workbench now the thickness of that whole uh, thickness i mean pocket first go on pocket and the given length of pocket is given as 12 uh, it is uh, we have drawing from this surface um, so uh, it's not 10 it's uh, it's not 12 it's 10 you have to select here dimension and write here as a 10 and then click on ok after that our next part is we have to sketch circle inside the square so select that insider part and then go again on sketch option after that use this circle option and make one circle again use this constraint option now radius of the circle is given to us is uh, 12 and from this cent distance between center to center of the circle is given as 78 divided by 2 now again select this circle and use this mirror option and mirror it after that go on exit to workbench and then use this pocket command and make pocket throughout up to last and then go click on ok after that we have to uh, remove this unwanted part so select this plane we have to remove it from this so select this plane then go on sketch option from here now select circle option and make one circle exactly from the center to uh, 
no no let uh, wait uh, first use this uh, projection command and project this line and after that use this circle command and then the circle is given of length uh, uh, of same length then you have to do one thing use this uh, trim command and then wait a second friends we have to do one thing again use this projection command again and project this two lines also and mm, now use this trim command and trim unwanted part mm. these are unwanted parts so let's use this profile command to complete the entity and i have completed the entity similarly select these all lines by using control option and will use mirror command to mirror it according to this axis and then we will go on exit to workbench we have to remove that part so we have to uh, use this pocket command and i will take it up to surface and we have to select surface i have selected this surface wait a second use this dimension command and let's see given dimension as 68 minus 14 and enter it so i used 68 minus 14 because i want group uh, i want pocket till this so whole distance is 68 and i removed this 14 so this is how we have completed our half now we have to use here chamfer you can see chamfer is given of 1 into 45 so use this chamfer command the given length is 1 and angle is 45 you just have to select the entity on which you want to um, do it and then click on okay now one thing again remaining we have to give this fillet edge to this edge you can see i am selecting this both of this edges and the radius is given as 8 and enter it this is how we have completed our sketch thank you so much guys for watching it